Today, let's learn about simplifying variable expressions. Let's start off with a problem and see how to simplify it. The problem is 6x plus 3 minus 2x plus 10. What we want to do is put it in a simpler form, and the way we can do that is put together like terms. I'm going to highlight in the same color some of the like terms. The 6x is, is a term. And with it is the 2x. So we're going to put the negative sign with it. And we're going to combine them. So what we really have is 6x plus negative 2x. And that's going to be 4x. So we just combined like terms. We just made that part simpler of the problem. Let's make the next part. Let's take the constants, which are 3 and 10. Let's combine those. They're both positive numbers. And when we combine positive numbers, we get another positive number. So we know that 3 and 10 combine. Oops. OK, if we combine those, that's going to be 13. And we're always going to combine things. So 4x plus 13 is the simplified version of the expression you see up top. Let's take a different problem. 2y minus 4 plus 3. And in parentheses, 2y minus 3. Well, before we start this problem and put things together, we need to simplify it and use the distributive property. This is a 3, so we're going to distribute it here and here. And what we end up with, I'm going to rewrite this. 2y minus 4 plus 6y minus 9. Now I can go and combine like terms. We have the 2y here, circled in red. And we have the positive 6y. We're going to combine those. And what we get is 8y. We made that simpler. Now let's take a different thing. We have the negative 4 here and the negative 9, or minus 4 and minus 9. If we combine those, what we get is we get negative 13. So we can put down in this problem minus 13, or 8y plus negative 13. This right here is the simpler version of that.